for me, it was just a, a misfitting, um, a really painful misfitting. Um, I, in an unrelated situation, I got this vision of, um, a puzzle piece that is, you know, very delicate and intricate trying to fit into a wrong puzzle. And these edges are getting really damaged, you know, like trying to be contorted down into this place where, um, it wasn't fitting and that's that was just where I was I had I had quit my career which I had invested a lot of money in <laughs> still working to pay that off uh, and um, you know like I but it was just not fitting I and I came to a place of very real crisis um, um, I live here and if I have to live here then I will cease to exist <laughs> Um, you know, it, I, I just, it was a very, it was a crisis point. Um, and by the time, you know, I had met Cater, I had left that career, but uh, still needed some very big direction um, in figuring out who I was in the world. So that's, that was the calling of, you know, where do I fit? Who, who, who am I? Why um, do I have these really big feelings um, that I can't really explain to my family or my friends? It's just a knowing that this is not where I am. There wasn't a knowing of where I should be necessarily. So um, that's that was my calling. It was complete and total divine intervention. Um, <laughs> there were, I had just started working with my smartphone. Um, I'm not a very technologically savvy person um, and my husband was on my phone one day and he was like, honey, you have like 30 tabs open. <laughs> and I was like complaining that my internet was moving really slow. And, uh, and he was like, yeah, you need to take away all these tabs. And it was just a perfect example of where I was in my life at that time, just very scattered and um, distracted. But uh, at the very last tab, um, so I had cleared out all of these tabs and in the very last tab was the Rites of Passage Council website. And I remember exactly where I was. I remember exactly what I was doing. Um, I, I'll never forget the moment because uh, my attention went from being way out here to just completely focused in on this website, which is also not a typical focal point for me in my life. And um, I was reading, I was reading, you know, what he had to say. And I, had never heard a message like this before. It literally, I, and, and I was just like, everything stopped and was quiet. And I was in a very busy cafe. Um, and it, but my, my total focus was just reading, you know, what he had to say. And I, I don't know even how long I sat there and read, but I, I, I went home to my computer. I was like, I'm gonna make this bigger. I'm going to really dive in and I read every single word. <laughs> and, and then of course I sent him an email and that, that pretty much started the whole thing. I did a divination with him and um, I, you know, I, I had never experienced um, that real elder energy of presence, total presence. Um, and it was so stabilizing for me that I, I, I just, you know, like well, whatever I can do to be closer to this person is what I'm going to do. I need to learn. I want to be, I want to show up in the world with that presence. And, um, you know, so after some weekend retreats and uh, some more work with him, um, he had mentioned early on about the vision quest for me. And, and so now I have apprenticed with him and I have done two vision quests uh, just because it, it re you know, these teachings resonate with me so deeply um, that, <laughs> you know, it, it's just like, I, I appreciate where I came from and I, I really genuinely have gotten to that place, but uh, going back to that would just, um, you know, it would just be going in the wrong direction for me. So, uh, you know, after, after two vision quests, 
and, and you know, deepening into the understanding of that ceremony in general um, has just completely and totally transformed my life. Literally everything that I read, um, it, was, it was like stumbling on to Harry Potter for the first time and not knowing that it, it, it existed, you know? I was just like, wait, what? You can think like that? You can, you know, it was just, just a, a discovering. Um, I, I, I can't remember exactly the quote, but it had something to do with, you know, um, ancestors and the reverence, uh, the relationship that, you know, that we can have with them. And, and um, I had, I, I've, I've felt connected, but couldn't, it, you know, with my belief systems growing up, I couldn't express that or couldn't um, really feel that. And then when I read that, I was like, oh my God, this thing I've been feeling for so long exists. He's telling me it exists, you know? <laughs> and uh, so that, I think that was a key piece. Um, but yeah, there were, there were many, many things. It, it was just this language that, and obviously it was English, but it was as if it was a different language, you know, because it was filled with so much different information um, and awareness, I guess. So. If it's okay, I'd like to bring in both of them because uh, they're, they were both just... They, so they still work with me to this day. Um, my first vision quest solo, uh, it, was, it was around really developing my spine, um, really developing an, an emerging energy in me. Like how do I step it? Who am I and how do I step into the world with that? Um, and my, and my time out there was really, it was a breakdown. It was a, uh, a slowdown, a, a, you know, like let's build from ground zero here, you know, <laughs> let's take it all the way down. And, um, it was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I was, you know, to go out there, you know, getting to that point, I was, I did so much work um, to, to get prepared for, for going out there, not only emotionally and soulfully, but physically. And I, you know, like I had built up what it was going to be. And uh, it was truly terrifying for me. Um, but I, I was just bound and determined to, to do it. And, you know, obviously did, but uh, time out there was so nurturing. Um, and, you know, and, and you think like a breakdown would, it's, it, sounds, it sounds kind of violent, but it was actually very slow and nurturing. Um, and it, it helped me to put some pieces together that I had been really missing and, and create a story in my life. And then my, my second quest, so that first one was like about building my spine from the ground back up. And the second one, um, and the medicine of the two, the second one was about my heart and softness um, and being feminine and, uh, you know, nurturing. Uh, and, you know, so now I have this, this image of a heart and a spine together, um, merged and, and, and that is the medicine that I work with, you know, like how, how do I, how do I stand erect and be direct centered in love and compassion and, um, with presence with my, for myself. Um, as I go into the depths, you know, because the vision quest to me, you know, Cater is, is, it teaches that it's, it's all about a descent. And, and I like to say in one of my songs, you know, to go to the depths is to go to the darkness um, and, and retrieve the spectrum of who we are, you know, um, and, and that can look a lot of different ways because we're all different people. Um, and, you know, that can be, it can be a, a scary journey, but I think the medicine in it for me was, 
you know, how, how can I be present in the darkness without flailing? Meaning like, how can I let my eyes adjust here while breathing through what, you know, how Cater says to lean into the discomfort. How can I breathe into this very uncomfortable place um, and, and bring presence and acceptance and um, allowance there? So uh, it's, it's just been an incredible, incredible learning experience um, that continues over and over and over and over and over to unfold into deeper levels of awareness for me. I'll start on my inner world and um, <laughs> there's, there's space in there. Um, what used to be very distracted and, and I, I, I don't want to completely like shit on who I was before. I was a scientist. There were levels of organization and, you know, um, I accomplished things, but, um, I, I didn't have any space for me, for existing authentically. Um, who I was before was a very diluted version. Um, and the more work I sign up, the more depth work, the more uh, I sign up to do, the more potent I am. And the backbone that was built allows me to, like I said, stand erect while saying, while claiming something new for myself, recovering purpose, recovering this facet that, um, or polishing this facet that I didn't know was there. Um, so it's this evolution of becoming shiny, I think, <laughs> instead of dull um, and miserable. I was so sad um, recovering from trauma. And, you know, as we all go through, we all have different stories and different things that we've been through and um, you know it, it is a it is a journey to uh, rising above that um, and and not allowing trauma to dictate how I show up in the world um, and not allowing trauma to keep me in places that are not authentically me uh, and it's 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 a it's a very interesting balance and you know like all of these things that I'm speaking here today I still work to embody um, in my life meaning you know we can we can speak a lot of things but it takes it takes years and years and years to actually be able to show up in that true presence and embody that and so all of these things that I'm talking about is something that that I get up with intentions for every day and say, okay, this is how I want to embody it. I don't always reach the mark, <laughs> but uh, like I said, you know, in previous that you know, the person that I was, um, I am working to embody the love for her and what she was able to do with what she had. Um, but, you know, I would literally never go back, I would never go back there because um, it was, it was, dark and it was sad and it was heavy and you know not to say that the the weight does not follow me sometimes uh, because it definitely does but um I have the tools to be able to work my work with it and allow it to be there so um with a lot more grace <laughs> so it, the the impact that the internal space is there externally uh, people, opportunities, um, every, everything, every, every dimension of my life has changed. Um, and there are, there are people who have been with me through this whole process, you know, uh, my husband's been with me for 18 years, bless his heart. But, uh, you know, like every dimension of myself that I changed also changed in my relationships to, um, a more healthy version to um, just a more smooth sailing. And, and, and in actually, in some cases, I lost a lot of people um, that, that, you know, where we weren't serving each other anymore, um, where, where that relationship came to like, okay, well, we just need to learn from each other at this point and then part separate ways. 
um, and and a lot of that happened. But there's there's not really a whole lot of residue from where I was to where I am now. There's still some, but it's it becomes less and less all the time, you know. Um, so it's it's it, it's a really cool process <laughs> of self discovery and emerging in the world. I would say if you're feeling the call um, and, and if you're feeling the call, I think you really know that you're feeling the call. Um, and I was a little bit resistant to it at first. And, you know, uh, if you're feeling it, if it continues to come back, if it ten continues to float through your awareness, um, to pay attention to that. Um, because I, I genuinely believe that vision quests are, are not for everyone on the earth, but uh, that they, it's, it's a medicine that's, that's really, really needed in today's, in today's uh, climate um, and where we are in human history and in, in you know, preser preserving the world and, and uh, just where we are. But you know, if you feel if you feel that call and it continues to return back to you to be brave and to honor it um you know this this teaching that you know this these really challenging or initiations as what we would call a vision quest you know they, they are really challenging but you know what's on the other side of that is so profound <laughs> You're a little choked up because it's so profound that I mean it, I just can't even put it into words. So calling forward your braveness, your courage, um, and and knowing that that you have what it takes. If it's calling you in, meet it, meet it, build the bridge, whatever you have to do, you know get educated, spend time with it, read about it, you know, uh, you don't have to be on it right away. Maybe it works with you for a couple of years, but research, there's, there's information. You can find whatever you want if you're searching for it. And I, so that's what I would say to, to listen to the call and, 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 and listen to your higher self that's calling you, you know, um, that's that's what I would say because the reward is is um, so great. You have so much potential to uncover truth that's so needed in the world right now.